Hi Sparks, I want to welcome you to another week of Awana and also I want to congratulate you on finishing your books. If you're in Hang Glider, this is your very last verse that you have to memorize that we're going to learn today. And for those of you in Wing Runner and Sky Stormer, you've reached the end of your books. You have some review verses that you're going to go over from before, but nothing that's a new verse. And you're all on track to finish the final jewels in your book this week. And I want to say great job. If you have stuck with it and are now at the point where you're finishing all this up, I am so proud of you. This has been a really challenging year for you guys with Awana. I wish that we could have met together and had so much fun and you could have learned these verses in person. But instead, you had no other choice but to follow along with these videos and have your moms and dads help you out. Also, please tell your moms and dads thank you for the huge ways that they have helped you out this year. They have done so much to keep you going. And so all of the uh, jewels that you have, all of the Awana shares you've collected, all the prizes that you bought at the Awana store, you owe your parents a huge thank you for them motivating you, keeping you on track. It, it is so awesome. And I'm so proud of you for the great work that you've done. I want to let you know that we have reached the end of your Sparks books. And that means that we are here at the end of the year. Now, this is not the last video that we'll do. We have one more video coming out next Friday, all right? But I wanted to make you aware of that, that we are coming to the end of Awana for this year. There's gonna be one more, or two more family night outs. One is tonight, April 23rd, if you're watching this on Friday, or there's one more on May the 7th. So if you would like to come in, get your final uh, collection of Awana shares to spend, uh, if you would like to buy prizes at the Iwana store one last time, if you would like to uh, let us know in advance how many jewels you've gotten or, or uh, badges that you need that you would like to earn, those are the times to do so. So please let us know. We'd be happy to do that for you, all right? But next week, you'll have one more Awana video to end out the year. But I'm so excited that God willing, we will be back for in-person Awana September the 10th of this year. And it's going to be great. I'm really excited about it. So God willing, we'll see. That is all subject to change as everything has been for over a year now. But we think that it's really going to happen and we cannot wait for it to happen. So great job. Congratulations. Say thank you. Give your parents a big hug. All right. And now let's learn the very last book that you guys in Hang Glider have in your Awana books. Ephesians 6, 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. You know, everybody in the family has their own job. As a matter of fact, here in Ephesians 6 and a few verses earlier in Ephesians 5, Paul the man who wrote the book of Ephesians, he was telling the church in Ephesus, which is in modern day Turkey, all right? He was telling the church that they each had their own jobs. Daddies had their own jobs, mommies had their own jobs, and kids had their own jobs. So think about your family. I don't know exactly what your family looks like. You might have one daddy, one mommy, and it might be you, just you. It might be you and a sister or you and a brother. You and several sisters and brothers. Maybe you just have sisters or just brothers. I don't know. I don't know what your family looks like. Also, you might have a mommy and a daddy, and then you might have another daddy. You might have another mommy, right? Sometimes families are different like that. But what is the job of everybody in the family? Well, that is an important question. What do you guys think the daddy's job is? What do you think that God told daddies they're supposed to do? Well, a lot of people think that it's the daddy's job to go to work every day. That they go to work, they make money so they can buy food for the family and other things, and they come home, and then it's their job to work outside, work on the cars a little bit, maybe mow the lawn, right? That's the daddy's job. What do you think the mommy's job is? Oh, well, the mommy's job 
It's the mommy's job to stay at home and she's supposed to clean and cook and she's supposed to watch the brothers and sisters, right? These are people's often observations of how they think the family should work. But the truth is, that's not the jobs that God gives mommies and daddies in the Bible. As a matter of fact, in my family, we have a, a kid on the way, but in my family, the mommy, Miss Amanda, she's not the only one who cooks and cleans. Now, she's much better at cooking than I am, but I like to cook as well. We usually either cook together every night, or depending on the night, I'll cook or she'll cook, and it's not the mommy or the daddy's job to cook. Also, she has made it very clear to me that it is not only her job to clean, and I clean on a regular basis. Daddies can clean too. And you know what? Mommies, they can work on the cars, they can work outside. That's not the jobs that, mo that God gave mommies and daddies. So what jobs did God give mommies and daddies? He told daddies that they are supposed to love their families. They're supposed to love their wives, your mommy, and kids as much as Jesus loves us. That's a lot. So they're supposed to lead the family and love everybody in the family as much as God loves us. That's a lot. And that's my goal, that I would love my wife, Miss Amanda, and our baby that's on the way as much as God loves us. Now, how about a mommy? What's the mommy's job according to the Bible? Well, here in Ephesians, again, it says that mommies are supposed to let the daddies leave the home. And what that is supposed to look like is how we let Jesus lead us. We let God lead us and lead every Christian around the world. And in the same way, mommies are supposed to let daddies lead the family in a godly way. Well, that's all well and good. But then Paul has something to say to brothers and sisters. There is a job for you and your family. Now, your dad has a job your mom has a job, and you have a job. What is your job? Your job is to play outside every day, eat tons of ice cream, and play Nintendo until 3 o'clock in the morning. Do you think that's right? No, that's not your job. You know what? I hope that you have many wonderful days of playing outside, eating lots of ice cream, and playing Nintendo maybe until bedtime, all right? However, that's not your job. No, your job is to obey your parents in the Lord. So your job as part of your family, just like your mom and dad have a job, is to obey them. When they tell you to do something, you do what they say. When they tell you to clean your room, you do it. When they tell you to eat your vegetables, you do it. When they tell you it's time to come inside or turn the Nintendo off, you do it. And as we learned last week, we do it without grumbling or complaining. That is the job of brothers and sisters in the family. So, boys and girls, pretty simple verse, but now you understand everything else that was being said around it and why it exists where it exists. So, I hope it helps you to understand the verse better. I hope it helps you to memorize it better. And I just want to say again, congratulations on finishing your book. I'm so proud of you. It was not easy. It was a challenge, but you worked hard. You got there. You did it. And maybe you're saying, but Pastor Charles, I skipped a few verses. Hey, you got a whole summer ahead of you. Go back and learn them, right? Don't quit. Don't pause on memorizing God's word, as we're going to learn more about next week. All right? But once again, congratulations. Give your mom and dad a big hug, and I can't wait to reward you for the great work that you've done this year. Have a good one. See you next week. God bless.